Kong in the trunk. Well, I'm back. Road rants on Star Wars. <sighs> Got an ugly rumor here. Ugly. Kathleen Kennedy rumored to be destroying the Mandalorian. This article talks about something that I have been a little concerned about for a while. I won't lie. So, it's from Cosmic Book News. The Mandalorian rumors. The rumor claims that Kathleen Kennedy wanted to originally tie the Mandalorian to the Rise of Skywalker, in particular Emperor Palpatine and Rey. I absolutely buy that. Kennedy wanted to use the Mandalorian to explain how the how Palpatine survived, how he how he built up his army, and how he managed to construct his fleet. Basically, retconning and explaining the awful details of the rise of Skywalker, the rise of Palpatine. And it said the initial pitch for the Mandalorian was that while baby looking for Baby Yoda's home, the Mandalorian is hired to search for someone's missing loved one. And that quest would lead into Palpatine's retcon storyline. Okay. The only thing about that is John Favreau wrote several episodes of The Mandalorian before he ever approached Lucasfilm. Okay. This was his creation to the side. Okay. They didn't know he was doing it. And he came, when he found out Disney Plus was coming, he was like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to pitch this Mandalorian story. So he took it in and pitched it. So I'd be very skeptical about the initial pitch. No. The rumor claims John Favreau wasn't ha all that happy with Kennedy's approach. So he enlisted George Lucas and they went above Kennedy to Disney CEO Bob Iger, which resulted in Kennedy being distanced from the Mandalorian. By the way, it was said that she may have been banned for the, from the set. Um, it's claimed that Kennedy still would like to move forward with the story that the child is actually a reborn Yoda. Something Iger is said to have been on board with. Iger recently stepped down as Disney CEO, but our lords and saviors... John Favreau and Dave Floney don't like this idea and are attempting to change it. It's said the child will not be called Yoda, but as time goes on, he will be able to recall the past. It said further said storyline will justify the existence of Ray with the reasoning that the force puts people where they need to be. I can almost guarantee this thing is going to tie into the rise of Palpatine at some point. If they're going to keep that in canon, that sequel trilogy, I will be floored if it does not. I will be floored. It said the Force puts Yoda back into play because he is needed, and that is why baby Yoda doesn't need any training, which is also, also applies to Rey as the Force wills it. So if Kennedy gets her way, the Mandalorian will be used to justify Rey in the Disney Star Wars films as, quote, a Mary Sue. The rumor also notes that production surrounding the Mandalorian Season 2 is really positive and that Favreau is well-liked. So we'll have to wait and see how things play out. That Star Wars seems to be in really good hands with Favreau and Filoni who have been both rumored to be taking over Star Wars. It is worth a note that I also am guessing that Kathleen Kennedy will be gone when her contract expires next year. So, and that's that's the one thing I will say about, about all this is how much influence does she really have long term? I have referred to her as a spade old cat at this point okay she can carry on she can make a lot of noise but because you know everything's nipped and tucked she can't 
she can't mess everything up too much, okay? The problem is the rise of Palpatine. I think Favreau and Filoni are going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that the Mandalorian is not destroyed by the rise of Palpatine. Because I can tell you right now, my fear is this show is going to be Game of Thrones. Four great seasons leading into a fifth season that turns into a dumpster fire. That is my fear with the Mandalorian. It is. This is all I got. The Mandalorian and the Clone Wars. Don't fuck it up for me. Star Wars is, come on. Let us have fucking something. Doesn't the old fan base mean a fucking thing? We're older. We're the ones spending the money. You dumb shits. Tell me what you think, Road Squadron. Our hope is that Favreau and Filoni take leadership and this shit never happens. I bet you if you injected Favreau and Filoni with truth serum, they would tell you they hate the sequel trilogy. If you gave them truth serum, I bet they would tell you they hate the sequel trilogy because they're old school fans. Right? Of course, they're not going to ever admit that. I'm just saying. Real Star Wars fans know the Disney trilogy is fucked. They do. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Kong in the